let's check and see how you did on these 12 problems. Most of them are straightforward. There's little combining like terms. It's just sort of straightforward distributing um, and making sure that we're getting the correct answers. So number one, we distribute four times A is going to give us four A. Four times three, negative 12. So we will have four A minus 12. Number two, negative five times X will give us a negative five X. A negative five times a negative two will give us a positive 10. Number three, negative three x squared times x squared will give us a negative three x to the fourth, right? We're adding those exponents. A negative three times a positive three will give us a negative nine. Two plus one. Okay, so we'll get a negative three x to the fourth minus nine x to the third. Number four, four x to the third times x is gonna give us four x to the fourth. And we'll distribute here, four times that negative three will give us a negative 12. There's nothing to go with that x, but it does still come along. So our final answer will be four x to the fourth minus 12 x to the third. Number five, we're just passing out that negative five. So not a whole lot to do with the exponents. So negative five x squared minus a 10x minus a 5. Number 6, this x has an exponent of 1, so we're going to add that as we go. So 3x times x squared will give us a 3x to the third. 3 times negative 5 will give us negative 15x squared. Again, that has a 1 as well, so 1 plus 1 is 2. And then negative 9, that x from over here is still getting multiplied, so it's still part of that final term. So we'll have 3x to the third minus 15x squared minus 9x. 7, we don't have coefficients to multiply, but we do have exponents to add as we distribute here. Okay, And we do have this sort of negative 1, so we're sort of changing the sign as we go. So a negative and a negative 2 give us a positive 2x to the fourth. minus the three x to the third plus two x squared. Number eight, okay, we'll multiply there, we'll add, so we'll get four d to the fourth minus a 12 d to the third. Again, there's an exponent of one there, minus 28 d squared. Again, no variable to combine it with over here, but it's still included. Number nine, 5m to the third times m is going to give us 5m to the fourth because of that exponent of one. Three plus one is four. And then five times six is 30, and that m to the third comes along. 10, we'll get 2a to the third plus 4a squared. 11. Okay, so we'll pass out on this first one. That gives us a 4x squared minus 12. And then we'll have to distribute on the second one here. This is a positive x, so x times x gives us x squared plus 1x. Okay, but again, we want to get our answer in the correct form. So like terms combined and in the correct standard form. So highest exponent to lowest. So a 4x squared and an x squared will give us a 5x squared plus 1x minus 12. Right, exponent of 2, exponent of 1, no exponent at all. So that's the correct order we want. And then number 12, we'll get a 20x squared minus a 